hey guys welcome back to yet another tutorial with gimp so in today's tutorial i'll be demonstrating how you can take a pretty heavy font and make them look like they are actually cracked text i originally saw this idea with photoshop tutorials i will have a link in the description for the original video to give the creator the credit so since most of us don't have access to photoshop or adobe's creative cloud or if you had access it might have finished within seven days so with that said now let's get into gimp the first thing is i'm going to make the move tool and go to file new and i'm going to set my width and height to 1920 by 1080 and i'm going to press ok and we have our black black canvas right here just a plain black canvas too if you don't have these colors set just press this button underneath these two colors and that's going to reset that to black and white so now what we could do is i'm just going to swap this color so i need a white text so if i take my text tool and press on the canvas it's going to show me a white colored font and i'm going to go with lake gothic i will have a link in the description for this font from font squirrel so i'm going to just type crack in all caps this is the same text the tutorial i saw had i'm just going to increase the size align that to the center of the page and to align in the center of the page um, just take your align tool click on the text and go to your tool options and set your relative relative to selection and line that to the center of the page and that's going to line that into the center of the page if you think it's not line just press the line above your object in the vertical and horizontal a couple of times and that's going to align your object in the vertical and horizontal axis so let me come back to our layers and what we could do is we, i'm just going to bring in my layer the cracked image the crack land crack image from pixabay I, th I think i got this image from pixabay i will have a link in the description for maybe this or the image from pixabay so be sure to check that out if you want to follow along so i'm just going to pause for a moment and i'm going to bring in my not my photo but the photo i got from the internet and i'll see you when that's that get imported so here we have our tech the land crack uh, photo so what we're going to do is we're going to just bring that beneath this text or we're going to just change the mode to multiply just for now to see where it would match with the text so i need my dark spots to be all around the text but as you notice when you go to left to right you don't get the darker spots in the k so I'm just going to take my move tool and move them where I think they are good. So I'm just going to stretch this stretch this land crack to where I think it would cover the letter K. So take your select and your scale tool shift S hold shift. Oops, before I do that, I'm going to go to layer layer to image size so we have our entire layer all right go to layer layer to image size still am losing detail just move this right about here and go to layer layer to image size all right now that's going to do so take your select uh, your scale tool hold control shift and look where every area covers so just move this around about here hold control and shift press enter to finalize that and take a move tool let me just bring this right about here and I'm just going to play around and see what each of these does. I'm 
move to alright now as you can see we have our entire text covered with cracks so what we could do is we're gonna just right click on the crack layer go to outfit a selection and that's gonna bring in a selection around the text and come to your layers and press delete oops not delete go to select invert and if you're on Mac you can't really use the delete on your keyboard go to edit clear that's gonna get rid of that if you notice we just have this we just have our our land crack so what we could do is we're gonna change our mode to multiply from multiply to normal and we're gonna just turn the visibility of that maybe bring that to the bottom we don't need that right now so just zoom in to see where your cracks are going and with this crack text selected go to colors threshold and bring this right here and try and play around on how these work before I do that I'm just gonna bring oops, to undo just control and Z I'm just gonna bring my layer back oops, again change my mode to multiply from multiply to normal and now go to colors threshold and, and that's going to strip everything just into black and white try making them right about here where you have your white stripes going right right bright and nice and it should be visible let me see how these works try and play around with these nodes I'd say 0 and 6 it sounds pretty good so press ok to close out of that and now change your mode to multiply turn the visibility of that on and go to colors with the crack selected with colors inward and as you can see we have our crack going through our text let me take my move tool and I'm to pan around the page I'm just holding down this paste bar and just moving my pen around my tablet to see what's happening all right that's that that's pretty good so just press minus on your keyboard to get your zoom out and right click on the crack layer your crack text go to alpha to selection come back to your image go to select invert press delete and now turn off the visibility of that change your mode from multiply to normal and bring your text beneath the black background come back to your crack go to layer layer the image size and that's gonna fill our boundary with just that now go to select none and now what we could do is now it's the important part you have to concentrate now just take your free lasso tool let me see all right and press this button right here which says oops let me see what that says replace the current selection with the first option available in the tool options and just cut these parts right where you have these black points you just can bring your free lasso tool and just cut these right from here press minus to zoom back out bring it out right from here try and match around the contours of the crack and press ctrl x or command x if you are on mac and command v if you are on mac and ctrl v if you are on windows to con cut and paste that so i'm going to just come to the layers take my move tool just move around right about there 
and one thing you could do is you could just press this button which which says anchor the floating layer and that's going to make that just the layer as the cracked the cut out cracked image so i'm just going to undo that another thing you can do is you can just take your free lasso tool and click on the text we just cut and that's going to make that into that layer so it's going to save a lot of time if you do the thing which i just told and i just cut from here right about there bring it back and i'm just going to speed this part up And as you can see, I have finished cracking the letters out and I just exaggerated these letters so they can look a bit more better. I'm just going to finalize the final one right there. Now what we could do as in the thumbnail, you've seen me spray some dots beneath and above the text. So for that, come back to GIMP, create a new layer and I'm gonna name that brush brush spray or dust because I'm I'm just I'm gonna brush some spray brush from brush Z and some dust brush from brush Z. I'll have a link in the description for those two as well and press enter to finalize that and now take your brush and I have set my brush to free dust photoshop brushes brushes 007 so I'm just gonna try 7 one time change my brush to 6 oops not that large not that large either right about here and now if you want you could add some paint with this one free spray photoshop brushes brushes 013 take that give one little blotch right there and as you can see I have add some effect to the cracked text using GIMP if you have any questions let me know if you liked it leave a like for new daily content subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the new content i post daily content in youtube and 
stay creative and stay healthy till next time thanks for watching